Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I upload new videos twice a week, so if you haven't already, now is a great time to subscribe to my channel so you can stay on top of all of those new videos. Today I have another tea review, and it's from a small company called White Tea Co., and this is their blueberry basil. So I say we get it steeping before we do anything else. As usual, I have a clear glass mug so we can see the color of the tea. And I have my metal basket infuser, which is just my absolute go-to when it comes to making tea. I always use these every time I make loose tea. So in 2020, I decided to take the very first steps towards launching my own business. A tea and teaware business is my absolute dream. So for my first product, I wanted it to be something essential that everybody needs to like really get into tea. I remember when I first got a metal basket infuser, it just like opened the whole world of loose tea to me. Before that, you know, I tried a couple different kinds of infusers that were like a little tricky, like a little bit flimsy. They'd break, I'd get leaves in the cup, but these guys are so sturdy and reliable that I've never looked back once I started using them. So if you need one of these guys, I sell them on Amazon and the link is always in my description box. So let's get our tea steeping. Ooh, smells good. Then just put our tea right in the cup, pour in our hot water. And now we can set this to the side and let it steep as long as we want because it's a rooibos tea. It won't over steep or get bitter. It'll only get more flavorful. So we have plenty of time to look at the loose tea and the ingredients. So White Tea Co. established 2015, so they're pretty new. This is my second tea that I've tried on my channel from White Tea Co. It's a brother and sister duo, which I think is so cool, and they have a similar age difference to me and my brother. They're seven years apart, and me and my brother are six and a half years apart. And I, I wish my brother would start a tea company with me. That would be so cool. But this is their blueberry basil. The last one I tried was their Fireside Fig, and I finished that one off pretty quickly because it was perfect for Christmas. I got this tea in the Sips by Advent calendar and I got their Fireside Fig in one of my Sips by boxes. So they work with Sips by, which is like a monthly tea subscription service. They send you like a personalized box of tea every month and I've just been absolutely loving them. But it's blueberry basil and on the back here it says, a fruity and savory caffeine-free combo of blueberry and basil. And the ingredients are green rooibos, blueberries, basil, lemon peels, and organic natural flavoring. And I definitely smell the blueberry. The basil, not as much, but I'm hoping it'll come through in the taste. So here's how it looks in the spoon. There's not a whole lot to see as far as like chunks or anything. So let's spread it out on the plate and see what we could spot. I definitely have a blueberry in my cup, like a actual like full piece of blueberry, but here on the plate, I don't have any. So here's how it looks. It's very um, uniform. Like it's a lot of pieces that are all like sort of the same size and shape. You could see the green rooibos first and foremost, and green rooibos is from the South African red bush plant, just like red rooibos. So it's just processed a little differently than the red rooibos. It's the same plant, I believe. Whereas like the red rooibos has more of like um, an earthy, sweet kind of flavor. The green rooibos has more of that like green, grassy, vegetal taste but it's completely caffeine free because it's not from the tea plant. It's super hydrating and full of electrolytes and full of good minerals. That makes it really refreshing and an awesome tea to drink to hydrate yourself. So I say next, let's go on White Tea Company's website and see what we can find out about blueberry basil in addition to what we have here on the packaging. 
I really love like the clean, fresh aesthetic of the way their website looks. Like it's all like super crisp with white backgrounds and, and I just really love that look. Wow, the picture for their blueberry basil is so cute. I love this teacup. Wow, so it's like, it's a ceramic teacup, but then there's like holes where you can see through. So it must have like a glass inner layer or like glass around there. Cause it looks like you can see through like to the tea, which is gorgeous. So here it says a refreshing and unique combination of blueberry, basil, lemon peel, and green ribis, great hot or iced. And that's all, that's all the information there. White Tea Company does have some pretty unique stuff. Something that I really wanna try is their rooibos matcha. It's rooibos, but powdered like a matcha would be. So you're consuming like the whole rooibos leaf. So that is really intriguing to me. They have a lot of things that um, seem really just unique, like the fireside fig that I tried, but then they also have a cinnamon walnut yaupon, a smoked chai, a sage rose white tea, a lot of really cool kind of unique combinations. I don't think I've ever had basil in a tea. I love basil, but I've only ever had it in like, like in a tea or with blueberry. I have had Tulsi teas, which is holy basil, which I think is a little different. Blueberry and basil, I don't think I've ever seen before. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the blueberry and like that sweetness and that hint of tartness from a blueberry will interact with like the herbiness of the basil. I think it's gonna be really unique. Also with the combination of like the green flavor from the green rooibos, I'm thinking that the blueberry will be a really great juxtaposition between the herbiness and the like green flavors, like the grassiness and the vegetalness of the tea and the basil together. And the lemon peel, I feel like will add like a nice tartness to the blueberry to really like enhance the blueberry vibe of the tea. There aren't a whole lot of blueberry teas that I really like because, because many of them do have hibiscus in them. A lot of the time when I see blueberry in a tea, it's like that like fruit punch mixed berry kind of vibe. And I just am not into hibiscus. A lot of the time it's like hibiscus, strawberry, like all different fruits like that. There's only a couple teas I've ever tried that are just blueberry forward. David's Tea had one called Blueberry Jam. It was a black tea with blueberry and black currant. So even that was like more that fruity side. So I'm really looking forward to trying something that has like the blueberry flavor, but then sort of like accented with something so different like basil. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take out the infuser. And check it out. It is like the color of a green tea. It's really beautiful and like golden in color. Green rooibos is a nice alternative if you are very sensitive to caffeine and don't like to drink regular green tea. Instead of drinking a decaffeinated green tea that has gone through like a process to remove the caffeine, green rooibos is a great option because it still has that like green taste and that like vegetal vibe but it's completely caffeine free and super hydrating and refreshing. So I'm really hoping I'll be able to taste that herbiness cause I don't smell it a whole lot. I smell mostly the blueberries still, even in the steep tea. But I'm really hoping I get a nice hit of basil because I feel like that's really what makes this tea unique. If it was just like a blueberry green rooibos, I don't think it would really be that interesting to me. So it's, it's really the basil that gets me excited for this. So I'm really hoping that the basil comes through super like bold. Ooh, it does, it does. Wow, it's so good. It's like, you taste both. You taste the blueberry and the basil. It tastes really fresh. I feel like this would have made an awesome iced tea, especially. 
It's good hot too, but I feel like iced it would be really fantastic. Yeah, it has that really nice blueberry taste. I don't really taste lemon because I think the lemon is just meant to add that uh, hint of tanginess to the blueberry. And I appreciate that they did that instead of adding hibiscus. <laughs> It's such an interesting combination. It really feels like a summer day. Like it feels like something you drink in the summer, almost like a mojito kind of vibe, except it's not mint. It almost has like the refreshing vibe of mint, but it's different. Wow, yeah, it just, it tastes so like gardeny and so fresh. Like I'm picturing like sitting outside on a beautiful day and drinking this iced, which I never really want to do. Like I'm never really interested in making iced tea, but wow, this would be so perfect. Cause the flavor of the blueberry and the basil just tastes so fresh together. But then also like the fact that it's green rooibos and it's like hydrating and refreshing. This would be a great summer tea. I'm probably gonna drink this like before summer even has the opportunity to come around, but wow, I could totally imagine making a big picture of this and like putting real blueberries and maybe like chop up some real actual basil. Maybe even turn it into a tea pop with like some fizzy water. Wow, this is so good. This is a really well done tea. And I actually think it's especially cool because it doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients. Like it's pretty simple. It has five ingredients if you count the organic natural flavoring, but it's so different. Like it's so like, it's a special kind of blend. But to mix blueberry and basil, I feel like it's just really, really cool. And I do appreciate how simple the ingredients are because it really does give each ingredient the opportunity to shine. The only thing that's like a supporting role, I'd say in this is the lemon peel. The green rooibos, blueberry and basil really like all play their own part and come together really beautifully. And I'm definitely a fan. So two out of two so far for White Tico. And this tastes like their aesthetic looks. Like it's fresh, it's clean, it's new, it's different, but it's like classic and simple. Just a few things, but each one has a purpose. This is awesome. I think this might be my favorite blueberry tea I've ever had. It just tastes like true blueberries and herby fresh basil and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my second look into White Tea Co and my review of their blueberry basil. So anyway, I hope you and all of your families are staying safe and healthy. I hope you are having a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.